Hello Leo, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a weekly reading for you for June 21st through the 27th. We're going to be pulling some general energies and then we'll jump into a tarot reading. So keep in mind this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate with all of you. Please take what you like and leave the rest for someone else. As well, please go check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs to make sure you're getting all of the messages that pertain to you. I have the June monthly readings for all 12 zodiac signs uploaded, so please go check those out. For you specifically, Leo, I will include uh, the monthly reading and my last weekly reading that I did um, at the end of this video for ease of uh, quick access. After you're done with this reading, you can just go right into those, okay? All right, let's see what main energies want to come out for this reading. Please keep in mind whatever comes out with this deck will coincide with the tarot reading, okay? All right, Spirit, what do we have for Leo? What energies will be playing out for Leo this upcoming week? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, first message on the table, Leo. We have the thief. Might be dealing with the thief this upcoming week, okay? You might know who that is right off the bat. We have thoughts. We have the lovers. Keep in mind this is not a tarot deck, okay? So if you're familiar with tarot, the lovers in this deck does not coincide with that same definition, okay? We'll go over these cards as soon as all the cards are on the table. And we have journey and courtship. Right. So with the first card out on the table, um, we have the thief card, as I said. Um, you could be dealing with a thief. Uh, either you probably know who this is or um, you could be experiencing this person this upcoming week. Okay, so this is a challenging card. Okay, this is obviously a card that talks about someone who might not have your best interest at heart. Okay, um, this can also mean embezzlement or loss of some kind. Um, so with a thoughts card right next to it, um, this could be warning you um, to let you know that as you can see in this card, the thoughts card, um, someone is thinking about either somebody, you can see this guy kind of looking at his his painting, but as you can see also, these two cards here, um, side by side, someone, you know, this guy is kind of looking over at this person who is trying to pickpocket this man. And so this is telling me that there could be someone that is thinking about maybe stealing from you, okay? So put it how it resonates. Just uh, be sure that you're, you know, you are being cautious about the people you're around. Um, they could be, it could be just dishonesty of some kind, okay? May not be physical theft, but it could be some sort of dishonesty. And I think that you might be feeling a little weary about someone at this time. Okay, so just make sure that you are paying attention to the people who uh, you're surrounding yourself with 
and just make sure that these people are up to par for your standards and um, you know people who have your best interest okay in the middle of this reading we have the lovers card okay so you're definitely in your feelings um, but this can also it doesn't have to mean lovers like um, spouse or girlfriend boyfriend or you know um, a lover per se it could also mean friendship as well um, so just keep in mind that um, you may be in the position of finding love um, or meeting someone new as well okay could be falling in love or you may be possibly courting someone because we do have the courtship card out here on the table with journey this journey card can talk about actually travel taking that um, step to maybe go see somebody or travel to see someone um, that you haven't seen in a long time but as I said here with these all these three cards here in a row we have the lovers the journey card and the courtship card okay this is telling me that there is someone here that you might be interested in um, and you might be traveling to see them okay if not they might be traveling to come and see you okay um, now again it could be the same person who might be thinking about you or you could be thinking about them um, but there is some sort of with this thief card this there's some sort of dishonesty here so it could be the same person or a different person just be very cautious even with this person that you might be getting to know um, if that's the case for you um, you know this courtship does talk about possible new love or some sort of partnership here okay so just make sure they're on the up and up make sure that you are um, checking them out don't uh, think twice about you know asking questions uh, making sure you you know get to know them because there's nothing wrong with asking the questions that need to be asked if you're going to be spending a lifetime together or any time together for that matter okay um, so just be very cautious about this uh, this card here with someone who might be trying to either steal from you or be dishonest with you okay so that's your uh, main energy here in this reading so let's go ahead and jump into the tarot and see what the tarot has for you I'm going to be using the Grand Lux tarot deck to coincide with um, the Kipper reading okay again general messages but in this reading we're going to look at what challenge you might be facing this week we're going to get advice from spirit and we're going to get an outcome possibly a solution to the challenge that you might be facing or possibly an opportunity that you could um, come across this week okay all right let's see what's going to happen here with this reading and see what else spirit has for you all right spirit that was fast okay in your challenge we have a queen of swords you could be dealing with the gemini your advice from spirit we have the three of cups this could be a group of friends it could be celebration or it could be third party what is the possible opportunity solution or outcome spirit for Leo this upcoming week thank you how should I take this all right, we have the Ten of Swords in your possible solution. So just briefly, this is tarot, so um, I'm just going to go over the cards briefly before we clarify, okay? The Queen of Swords is, as I said, Gemini energy. This individual, if it's an individual, 
is someone who is very forthright with their communication, very strategic, and very smart. Smart and witty, okay? So this could be someone who you might be courting. Now, just because it's a woman in the card does not mean it has to be a woman in real life, okay? This is tarot. There is no gender in tarot. So Gemini person could be someone of your of interest for you, okay? Um, this person, as I said, is very witty, um, very um, well, um, well spoken, I should say, okay? We'll clarify why this is your challenge. This could be the person that you either are having, you're thinking about, or is someone is thinking about you in, in a way that's not so good, okay? Uh, we saw that thief card, so keep that in mind. Um, again, as I said earlier, the Three of Cups, this is advice from spirit. This could be celebration. This could be third party, or this could be possibly um, a group of friends. We'll clarify and see what this is talking about, okay? And we have uh, your outcome as the Ten of Swords. So something's coming to an end here. There's been a lot of backstabbing going on here. Possibly, again, goes back to the Thief card we just spoke about. Could be this person. But um, you possibly have been stabbed in the back in the past, and you might be a little weary of being stabbed in the back again, okay? So as you saw with that first reading, um, there was that thoughts card thinking about, mm, is this person going to do this to me again? Or is, you know, is this going to happen to me again? So let's see what uh, comes out in this reading. Let's go ahead and clarify. Okay, too early, too early. Okay, Spirit, what is this Queen of Swords? So the Two of Wands just popped out. Um, I didn't take it, but I will acknowledge that, okay? Two of Wands talks about a path, choosing a path. One of two. All right, we have Judgment. Judgment card here on the table in your challenge. Eight of Coins. Lovers. So this is also a lover's card, but this is tarot, so it's a different meaning than the lovers that we saw in the Kipper deck. Okay? And we'll go ahead and we'll clarify as soon as all the, the cards come out here. What else, Spirit? What else do you got for their challenge this upcoming week? Okay, we've got the moon. One more. And the nine of coins. So right off the bat, the first thing I get with um, these cards here, I'm being told there's a red flag you have to pay attention to, okay? There's a red flag that you may or may not see because we do have the moon here, so you may not see it yet, but there's something that is an illusion. There's something that's not being revealed to you at this time, okay? Um, we do have the judgment card here, and again, there is a flag on that trumpet, right? So there is some sort of, of, of red flag here, something that you need to pay attention to. Um, the judgment card talks about lessons that you've had to learn with a person or, you know, with people in general. Um, in order to be able to embrace some change that you could have experienced recently or will be experiencing, okay? We do have the work card here. This is the Eight of Coins, and this, to me, as a reader, talks about work. So you could have met this person in the workplace. You could be having a romance or an affair at work, some sort of love affair, okay? We do have the Lover's card here. So this uh, romance could be taking place, as I said, in the workplace, um, and you might have to be faced with making a decision. As I said, the Two of Wands showed itself to me. I did not take that card, but this is also a card of choice, choosing a path, making a decision between some one or two things or more. OK, 
Okay, so there's a decision that you will have to make here. Um, there are some things that you don't know, but we do have the Nine of Coins here, which talks about being independent, okay? This is uh, Virgo Taurus energy. Now you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Taurus, um, but I do feel here, Leo, that this is uh, your energy really coming through about um, talking about you uh, being very independent, okay? Maybe not um, thinking about um, a lot of, of uh, commitment right at this time. You might be wanting to stay single, but maybe want to date, okay? That may or may not be for everyone, um, but that's what I'm, I'm feeling here. Now, again, you know, there's some things that you don't see here, and that is your challenge. Again, I do see red flags with possible Gemini, Taurus, or a Virgo. Okay, possibly Pisces as well. So let's see what the advice from Spirit is because we have the Three of Cups here. So we'll, let's see, depending on if you're in a relationship or not, I do see with the Nine of Coins here, there is some singlehood here. So there is some independence, possibly maybe not wanting to, um, you know, get married or anything. You might just be, um, you know, single and mingling. Okay, we have the Star card. the three of swords in the middle of your reading. So this is um, some heartache. As I said earlier, with this 10 of swords, you may have been stabbed in the back in the past and possibly feeling some heartache still over um, that dilemma or that situation. So we have the seven of pentacles and now we have justice out on the table. I'm gonna get one more. And we have the page of cups you're healing from something Leo there there has been something that occurred here with this ten of swords this is in your outcome so you're it's coming to an end you're completing that cycle of going through some difficult times with someone but I do see here that you are healing from this heartache okay it's been difficult, yes, I do see that. But there's a waiting period here, and I believe you're waiting for justice to come in. You're waiting for justice to come in, and I believe there's gonna be some sort of um, possible new uh, relationship that's sprouting. We did have the courtship card in the reading that uh, we started with. Um, possible travel to go see someone. This could be a, a new uh, journey for you, okay, in, in something that's fresh. Um, maybe you just met someone, maybe you're talking to someone, or you're interested in someone, okay, and although you are feeling hurt from the past um, cycle of whatever this was with somebody else, now keep in mind that thievery card could have already happened. There could be someone in your life that may have stole from you, even stole your heart, Okay, may not be physical thievery like money or something like that, but it could actually mean that this person may have stolen your heart and broke it. Okay, in the past, um, there is this waiting period for for this justice to come in um, for you. Maybe you are wanting to find out, you know, if there was a third party, if there was something going on with somebody else behind your back that may have caused this heartache. Um, if that's not the case for you and you're not dealing with someone who had a third party, um, this could talk about, um, you know, this is advice from spirit. So this could be saying, uh, I'm hearing celebration. So with this card celebrating, you know, justice after a long waiting period and being able to move forward with new love, with something fresh. Okay. So put it how it resonates for you. Okay. It's going to be different for everybody. But I do see that justice is coming in and bringing in something new. So that's very beautiful. Uh, let's see what the Ten of Swords is here in your outcome, possible opportunity. Keep in mind that tens are completion. Okay. Spirit, what is this Ten of Swords for Leo? Okay, we have temperance. Hanged man.
the Page of Swords. Beautiful. We have the Fool. One more card, Spirit, please. One more. Oh, beautiful. I knew that one was going to come out. I just knew it. Okay, Leo, there is someone who's going to be reaching out to you. Okay, first of all, I'm going to get to that part first, and then I'll get to the top part here second. Um, but I want to really... Because... <laughs> right when this came out right before this came out i saw this card so um there is someone who's going to reach out to you to um ask you to come see them okay um there is going to be some sort of um spontaneity about the situation okay something that's unpredictable you may not be expecting this but it's going to be very um interesting because it is going to require some travel now again that might not be for everybody but if that's the case for you um, it's going to be hey um, you know I really would like to see you I know I live a hundred miles away but how about we have this you know rendezvous where we meet halfway you know just something like that where you guys actually have this adventure with one another um, I think that's beautiful. Again, it's not going to be for everybody, but that is going to be for um, most of you. Okay, there also is here something that says, I'm sorry, I have to get rid of this notification on my screen. Um, there is something here too that just says there's, there's going to be some quick communication, travel or not. Someone is coming in. Someone has their eye on you, Leo, and it's somebody new. Okay, this is going to require you to take that leap of faith to move out of that Ten of Swords and trust. And, and, you know, it's really blind trust because, again, you know, you may be in that mode where you're not trusting other people. Maybe you're like, oh, I don't want that to happen to me again. I don't trust it. It's going to happen again. I'm going to get my heart broken again. But, you know, just remember that not everyone is the same. Okay, just because someone broke your heart in the, heart in the past doesn't mean that everyone's that way so just keep that in mind now with this top two here this is telling me that you are adjusting to what happened with the temperance card here S things are balancing out your healing okay and you're still in a waiting period because you you've been heartbroken there's been some difficult times for you you've been stabbed in the back and heartbroken of course you're going to be you know cautious so there's nothing wrong with that um, just keep in mind that not everyone is the same, okay? There are good people out there, and you have to take the time to get to know them, okay? It's going to take time, but, you know, give it a chance. I do feel here with the Temperance card that is saying, you know, it's going to be a new cycle. Um, your healing has, has began, even if you're not completely healed all the way. This is going to be a time for you to balance out these uh, new beginnings and something fresh and... Um, something that's going that can really pan out to be a beautiful experience for you okay so this is a beautiful reading i hope that uh this week turns out and uh turns out to be really you know great i know that you've been through a lot i can see you've been dealing with some difficult um people you know situations in your life and you're still heartbroken over what happened but with the temperance card and the star card on the table it's showing me as a reader that you are healing. Um, so whoever this person is that's coming towards you, um, I do see Sagittarius. Um, I do see Pisces, a Libra, okay, um, Aquarius, again, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, and a Pisces. I think I said Pisces twice, so put it how it resonates, but it looks like um, you're going to be starting something fresh and new with maybe a new courtship partner lover whatever okay 
All right, Leo, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you have a great week. And until next time, namaste.